Rob, thanks for having us here. It's an amazing experience being in your lab, in this learning lab at Harvard uh, with the Box Center. And we just had a good conversation about future uh, perspectives uh, with uh, different um, uh, approaches. So maybe in, in your own uh, vision, what is happening here right now and what is coming up in the next couple of months? Of course. Um, so I think one thing we're really interested in is how do we think about the use of digital material to support learning, both learning online, but also learning in the classroom. And one thing we have discovered when we founded um, on the edX platform and when I founded HarvardX is that the massive open online courses are full of fantastic rich material, videos, text, images, assessments that could be used, but everything is locked in a single course. And so one of the things that we're trying to do, both for learners online, but also for learners here on campus, is give the power to take those materials and unbundle them. Take them apart so that a MOOC can be taken apart. You can find the sections, the assets that are most interesting to you, and then you can recombine them into a different sequence with your own material. So this is a project here at Harvard called Lab Exchange, which is the next evolutionary step for MOOC platforms like edX, and it is built on the open edX platform, and will transform the functioning of the edX platform as well. But the idea here, though, is to, for the first time, give agency to the learner and to the instructor to really control what the story is that they're trying to tell with the specific materials that they're most interested in using to actually tell that story. So that in the past, as an instructor, I certainly know this, at most, you'd be able to assign a section of a chapter in a book or a whole chapter. Then you'd have to spend time in class sort of repositioning that in the story that you're trying to tell, you know, in the case of an instructor, um, let's say. Now, you can take individual elements, put them together with your own laptop video, your own text, your own sort of diagrams that you might have drawn, and create online a short, what we call a pathway that allows you to tell your story accurately using the materials that already exist as open educational resources. So that for us is the next step in really making online learning more adaptive, more personalized, but also for learning in the classroom, making all of those digital resources also more adaptive, more personalized to what the instructor or actually wants to do or what the learner actually needs. And so this is what you would call broadcasting is over? Yes. Yeah, so the model where we have the knowledge and we have the story and we broadcast it like a radio station in the old days is completely over. Because what we've learned, what's quite clear from both social science and cognitive research, is that there is no single story for any one subject. That we're now in a world where we've realized that the world is full of stories. And that, in fact, trying to allow learners to connect concepts, um, disciplines, fields, skills, and perspectives in the service of their own story is the most effective way to allow them to remember, to engage, and to retain and use what they've learned. So one way of thinking about it is that with Lab Exchange, we're trying to support personalized storytelling, both on the part of instructors, but as importantly, on the part of learners as well. And when can a professor or a higher ed institution benefit and participate in this new uh, project? Right. So the Lab Exchange first beta um, comes out this month um, in early October. And then in between now and January, we're having partners and their audiences actually user test um, the platform to make sure that it works appropriately and also that it supports the kind of learning that we really hope it does. But then for the public launch, where everyone will be able to use it, that will be in the first week of January. We are really looking forward to that. Uh, and thanks a lot for sharing it with us. Of also. course, my pleasure. And I really hope we can get some exciting German partners and German learners on the platform as well. We will take that home and stay in touch on it. OK, thank you.